Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, as in the name Racha, Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and the sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And the title of the video, Lord Willem, you know, just going into the dietary law, you know, just going to speak on it. You know, Lord Willem, this video is edifying to the elect. The nation of Israel, and uh, this is Leviticus chapter 7, and starting at verse 22, it says, And the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Ye shall eat no manner of fat, of ox, or of sheep, sheep, or of goat, and the fat of the beast that dieth of itself, and the fat of that which is torn with beasts may be used in any other use, but ye shall in no wise eat of it. Okay, so, you know, a lot of people, they like to eat, you know, they, they like to eat the fat, you know, uh, of steak, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, because they think that it's healthy for you, man. You know, but we're dealing with the Heavenly Father, the, uh, the Creator of the uh the creator of this world you know through his son yahweh shai you know the creator, the father of spirits okay the most high man all right the one with the complete wisdom and understanding the complete wisdom and understanding of of of, of the human body all right the ultimate uh doctor you know if you, uh, for lack of better terms, all right, and he said that we shall eat no manner of fat, all right, you know, you eating a, a lot of fat, you know, it can clog up your arteries, you know, it's, it's, it's not good for you, man, all right, the fat of beasts, you know, not, because some things has natural fats in it, like avocado, different things like that, but well, this is speaking of fat of, uh, it says ox or sheep, sheep or goat. All right, you don't want to be digging into that fat, man. All right, and it it upsets your stomach as well, man. <coughs> you know, oftentimes, you know, you'll see, you know, in the scriptures, uh, offering the fat as a sacrifice. You know, but the Lord said to not eat of it. And uh, verse 25, it says, For whosoever eateth the fat of the beast, of which men offer an offering made by fire. It says, For whosoever eateth the fat of the beast, of which men offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, even the even the soul that eateth, that eateth it shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, ye shall eat no manner of blood, whether it be of fowl or of beast in any of your dwellings. Okay, so when you're eating chicken, all right, you're eating chicken and you're going to the bone part, all right, it should be no blood in there, man. All right, no dried up red blood, none of that, man. All right, it's, it's no good. All right? And... And it says, or of beast and in, in, in any of your dwellings. You know, so fowl or beast. All right. And a lot of people, they like their steak, you know, medium rare. Or it has more flavor. You know, that's the trait of a heathen, man. All right. And who likes to eat their meat red? Esau eat him. All right. Because he's a, 
uh, he's a bloody man. You know, he don't like his food cooked all the way, man. It says, verse 27, Whosoever soul it be that eateth any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. All right, because the blood, that's the life. That's the life, you know, of a of a beast. All right, so you don't want to be eating. You don't want to be eating that, man. All right, because it says here in Leviticus seventeen. This is the one where I was uh, speaking of that fat again. Leviticus 17 and 6, it says, And the priest shall, shall sprinkle the blood upon the altar of the Lord Yahweh at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and burn the fat for a, for a sweet savior unto the Lord Yahweh. So I was speaking of that fat, but let me go down here. I'm jumping down to verse 10. Leviticus 17 and 10, it says, And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel or of the house of uh, Salakia, of the house of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn among you that eat of any manner of blood I will even set my face against that soul that eat of blood and will cut him off from among his people from among his people for the life of the flesh is in the blood and I and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls for it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul all right so you don't want to be you know dibbling dabbling or uh, eating blood you know even sucking blood you know you have a cut on your arm you know you don't want to be sucking the blood you know you don't want to be doing none of that man all right the lord commands us to not eat any manner of blood and that's what esau edom does all right you know, that's why he collects blood, you know, for that, uh, what's it called, uh, that adrenochrome, all right, you know, Esau, Edom, they get, they get off on eating blood, you know, blood sacrifices, man, all right, that's going into witchcraft, man, okay, you eating, you, you eating the soul of a man, man, all right, blood, that's what brings forth life, man. You know? So you wanna when you cooking steak or anything, you wanna make sure you you cooking all that out of there, man. Alright? That's not part of our custom at all as a as a Hebrew Israelite, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Alright, and you Israelite foreigners that may look like the other nations. You don't wanna be eating uh rare, rare food, man. All right, food with any type of red blood in it, man. All right, because when you see steak, medium rare, all right, you know, that's that's blood. That's blood there, man. Okay, because even when you uh, when you slaughter an animal and you make sure all the blood comes out as you're supposed to, all right, there's still blood within the tissues and the muscles. Okay, so we, when, you, when you take that out, you know, you you gotta make sure you. It gotta be, uh, either well done or, uh, medium well, but it can't have no can't have no red in it, man. 
all right that's not a that's not a custom you know of our people all right if uh verse 12 it says therefore i said unto the children of israel no soul of you shall eat blood but neither shall any stranger that's a joint of among you eat blood all right so Israelites, we didn't deal with that, man. All right, and that's a uh, that's that's going off, man. All right. Uh, verse thirteen says, "And whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel or of the strangers that shall join among you, which hunteth and catcheth any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall even pour out the blood thereof and cover." And cover it with dust. Okay, so once once you slaughter an animal, make sure all the blood comes out. You want to cover that blood with dust. All right, it says, for it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore, I said unto the children of Israel, you shall eat the blood, the blood of no manner of flesh. For, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eat it, it shall be cut off. You see? So that's a big offense, man. All right? And, and you know, Esau, he might have, like, different little uh, facts out there on Google. You can't trust everything Google says. You know, we use Google a lot sometimes, but you can't trust everything that it says. You know, Google may say, oh, eating rare, eating rare steak is healthy, you know, you know, but they even says on, uh, on the internet that, uh, eating, uh, oysters, you know, is great protein for you, man. All right. But we know that's, that's something that we can't, uh, dibble dabble in, man. All right. Yeah. Because oysters don't have fins or scales and they come out the ocean and they eat, uh, they eat bacteria and, and and uh and feces which is shit that comes out of uh other animals man all right you see sharks or whatever fish swimming around they when they shit go down to the ocean all right oysters is cleaning and eating that up man all right but you saw i want to tell you that it has good protein to it man all right um This is Leviticus chapter 11 and verse. And verse 7 it says, And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Let me start at the top. It says, And the Lord Yahweh spake. Unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth, whatsoever part of the hoof, and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. Alright, so uh, cloven footed. Alright, so it has that little split in the foot. Alright, and cheweth the cud. Alright, so. Um, if I'm describing it correctly, you know, it has like different parts of the stomach where they rechew their food. All right. It says, nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew of the of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof. All right. So he doesn't uh, rechew his food. Oh, uh, he, uh, he does chew, rechew his food, but uh, divideth not the hoof. Uh, let me go on Google and see. <laughs> Just talking about Google, but let me see. Um, divide the hoof. Yeah, a cloven hoof, cleft hoof, divide the hoof or split the hoof is a hoof split into uh, two toes. 
you know i believe uh dogs have this as well all right but uh dogs they don't chew the uh they don't chew the cut all right and they have uh they have paws <clears throat> so you can see here on this picture <coughs> dogs have something similar to this you know two different toes but let me go back here it says it says as the camel because he cheweth the cud but divided not the hoof he is unclean unto you all right so the camels they don't have that division i mean they don't have that divide you know uh on their feet all right with the different toes it says in the coney because he cheweth the cud but divided not the hoof he is unclean unto you all right i forget what a coney is let me see i believe it's a rabbit or something like close to that oh like a yeah like it's a rabbit all right you know rabbits is unclean not to be eaten it says and the swine though he divide the hoof so they have the the divided uh in the toes uh and be cloven footed so let's go and see what the cloven footed look like yeah so cloven footed or divide the hoof i believe that's the same thing Yeah, it's the same. It says, uh, yet he cheweth not the cud. You know, so they don't, swine, they don't, uh, pigs, they don't reach you their fruit. All right. Let me just make sure I'm describing that right. Chew the cud. It says, cud is a portion. Yeah, I have the animal picture right here. It says cut is a portion of food that returns from a ruminant stomach to the mouth to the mouth to be chewed for the second time more precisely it is a bolus of semi-degraded food regurgitated from the rec from the reum of a ruminant cut is produced during the physical digestion process all right so they they thoroughly chewing the uh chewing their food pretty much further chew partly digested food all right and it says he is unclean unto you it says of their flesh shall ye not eat and their carcass you know what i mean when they're dead shall ye not touch they are unclean unto you. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the water, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. All right, so these people out here, they're foolish, thinking that they getting top quality meals when they order uh, shrimp, crab, lobster, and and damn catfish, man. Those are all bottom feeders and all unclean, man, because they're they're just full of they're full of uh, bacteria and, and 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 dirt. Okay. <coughs> it says. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses. But ye shall have their carcasses an abomination. Whatsoever have no fins or scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. All right, and it goes further down. Speaking of the birds, you know we don't eat. 
Ravens, Nighthawks, man, Eagles, the Vultures, you know, those are all, those are all unclean animals, man, like, come on, a Vulture, man, all right, and let me go to the blue letter here real quick. Yeah, I was figuring that's the same thing for even a uh, even a uh, wow, that's kind of new to me. Leviticus nine and ten says, "And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you." It says, "They shall be." Even an abomination unto you, ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses an abomination. You see, so even touching their dead bodies, because when you read in the NLT, it says they will always <laughs> be detestable to you. All right, hey, see, the Lord don't change, man. All right, the Lord don't have it to where now, you know, it's, it's good for you to, to, uh, to eat shrimp, man. All right, or lobster. All right, it says they will always be detestable to you. You must never eat their meat or even touch their dead bodies, man. All right, so a, a, a dead shrimp, a dead lobster, a dead crab, man, is unclean. It says any more... Uh, Marine in the NLT again. Any marine animal that does not have both fins and scales is detestable to you. All right, man. Let me just read the files and I'll close out. Be the Lord's will. Uh, back to the KJV. It says, "And these are they which ye shall have an abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination." The eagle and the ostrich and the osprey. Let's look at the osprey here. Some type of bird. Osprey. Yeah. Kind of look like eagles a little bit, but not quite. And it said the... Uh, Probably the same thing. Let me see. Uh, also, also fridge. Ooh, man. Yeah. It says, uh, back down it says and the vulture and the kite after his kind part of the same thing as a vulture but let me just see the kite kite bird They gotta be like in the eagle family. They look like eagles. And the kite after his kind, even raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the kuka, and the kukau, and the hawk after his kind, and a little owl, and the corm, corm, cormor, cormorant, and the great owl. Cormorant is from, uh, I believe I'm familiar with it, but let me just look it up. Cor uh, Cormorant. Yeah. You know, the Lord, and the Lord created these creatures, you know, for their purposes, man. All right, but one of their purposes is not to be eaten. All right, the Lord gives us plenty of things for us to eat, you know, but, you know, Esau and 
two-third jake you know they have to, to try to look exotic it says and the great owl and the swan and the pelican and the greer eagle and the stork and the haran after her kind and the and the lap wing and the bat all fowls that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination unto you It says you must not eat winged insects that eat that, that walk along the ground. They are detestable unto you. Let me just see here. Files. Yeah, so those are like ducks. Ducks, they walk on it all four. You know, so the Lord, hey, the Lord got this thing all planned out, man. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick lesson on that. You know, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to close with that. Give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham. Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy <coughs> to the house of David, and to the next lesson I say Shalom and a Baba Ba. Shalom.